everyone, it's Zeraldo here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Sentinel class. Uh, this was the second class I designed, so you'll get to hear a few interesting things about the development process from me today. Uh, yeah, so I guess first of all is how do you get this class? Now this class is sort of special. The only way to get this class is to be an upholder. For those of you who don't know, you become an upholder by buying membership in the month of October every any year, uh, because that's when the Adventure Quest World's birthday anniversary always is. It came out in October 2008, and if you buy membership any year in October, you'll get an upholder badge, and from that badge, which is in your book of law, which is what I'm showing you now, you'll be able to get it. So. As you can see, there are multiple different upholder badges, one for each year, or if you were a founder who upgraded in 2008, the month of October, you can get it there. So I'll just show you from this year, or 2014, just go shop, and you can just get the Sentinel class sword, and, oh, helmet and cape, those were the other items that came with it. So... The only way to get the Sentinel class is through your Book of Law in the store. If you don't have it, you can wait till October each year to pick it up. But it will cost you a bit of your real life money. Yep, and that's how you get it. So once you unlock it, it's yours forever, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. So, oh. Once you have your Sentinel class, you're going to want to enhance it. For this, I'd recommend one of three different types of enhancements, either full fighter, full luck, or a mix of both. Fighter is going to give you health and a bit of base attack power. Luck is going to give you a mix of stats, but predominantly it will increase your critical damage. Or a mix of both, just to get a mix of both of those advantages. It is a bit of a squishy class at times, especially with some of these moves, so you do want decent health. Uh, for your ore enhancement, I definitely recommend health vamp, but if you're wanting to play it a bit risky or if you just want damage, go for a spiral carve, which will increase your crit damage and crit chances. As for your passives, you've got war veteran, which increases your strength by 15%, and you have streamline armor, which increases your dodge chance by 8%. You take uh, you regain mana in the same way as a major or berserker. The uh, less health you have, the more MP you get back. So now we'll go and take this class out for a bit of a spin and show you how it all works. Just before I get started, I'm just going to talk about the weapon that I'm using. It does basically the exact same damage every time. This is so I can show you the exact average of what the class's power is. If you have weapons with more unstable damage ranges, you can hit way higher. You can also hit way lower. So this is just for the average. Your uh, first move is just a base damage strike sort of thing. It's Sentinel Strike. This is basically what you keep using to keep dealing damage. As you can see, it's got a nice amount of power behind it. I mean, you can see it does more than your auto attack. It's got a 5 second cooldown and costs 15 mana. Now I'm actually not going to tell you about the third move. I'm just going to use that one last and I'll tell you about the second and fourth moves first. You've got Accurate Endurance, and this is an attack that deals a small amount of damage, but also heals you for a small amount. Uh, it will heal more the less health you have. So you'll be having more MP when you're lower health because of the mana region style, and then more health gain back when you're low because of this mode. It's got an 8 second cooldown, and it's also only 15 mana, so relatively cheap moves here. Your uh, final move's called Demolish, has a 30 mana cost and 15 second cooldown. This is your more damaging move, as you saw there with the crit. It's not the hugest nuke or anything, and that's got a reasonably long cooldown, but there's a reason for that, so we just go again. There we go. Um, so yeah, you get the idea now. This is the uh, move that makes or breaks the class. It's called Adrenaline Rush. 22 second cooldown and 20 mana. What it does is that it increases your overall damage by 50% and your haste by 30% for 8 seconds. So your cooldowns cool down quicker 
your damage is done well your damage does more damage it's just a limited thing so in that time you can let off your moves for a lot of spike damage the downside is that it applies a damage over time to yourself so you use this move at your own risk taking damage now hopefully it reduces the cooldown so you can actually use your other moves more and it's definite so that it's worth it but uh it's up to you and your playstyle so i mean you sort of see the idea it goes from about 413 to 620 i mean the crit here went from about 2000 to well over 3000 so you know it's quite nice just depends on how you have everything enhanced so this is the part of the video where i talk about the class and what my final thoughts of it are but because i was the designer that makes it a bit different but i do get to talk to you a bit more about behind the scenes stuff first off what i'll say is this i had a completely different set of skills completely different moves completely different almost everything for this class originally but when we actually got around to coding it we discovered that it was sort of impossible with the current game and so that class i've still got saved somewhere and would like to use but i'll have to wait for the server rewrite for that but uh i didn't have as much time to design this new set of moves as i did now a lot of people will have noticed that around the time of the anniversary there was a class on my character page called star striker and everyone was wondering what that was star striker was a backup class that i had made just in case we were having trouble with the original sentinel as i said and so i decided it would be good just to have a backup set of skills so i put something to together quickly i like to put a lot of time and effort into it and so because this was a quick backup i just needed something that worked and unfortunately in some ways but fortunately in others i mean it was a good thing i made the backup at all but um unfortunately we had to go with it and so it wasn't nearly as good as the original class i had in mind uh yeah so that's why that's what happened to star striker if anyone thinks star striker is going to happen it's not this this is what star striker was and apparently we still have a few little kinks to look out for in the typing and typos we've got star striker still in the description so there's your uh, answer on that so because i had a much more limited time frame than i would have liked um that might put a few things in perspective this thing didn't have as, quite as much time for testing as i would have liked it didn't have yeah uh, as much time to come up with the ideas i would have liked i just needed something that worked and for the limited time frame i was really happy with what i got working uh but i will agree that in some ways this class is a bit under par um i know a lot of player complaints are about the heal which i will concede could be a bit better and adrenaline rush i know a lot of people want that to be loopable i'm not sure how i feel about it being loopable but potentially because this is uh the design was done with sort of spike damage in mind and high risk so making that loopable i guess it would add to high risk but it would take away from spike damage so what i might what i will i guess what could be done is that the damage output could increase a bit more and perhaps the heal uh we can't actually change how the heal works in terms of how much it heals but what can change is the cooldown so you could use it more often um so if i ever get around to reworking sentinel those are changes i'd consider so am i happy with the class as an overall thing i'm okay with it i don't think it's definitely not my best work but I'm okay with it. I think it's sound, it does the job, and it functions as a class. It just needs some tidying up and some number adjust adjustments. But bearing in mind the situation behind it and the time constraints, I'm quite happy with what was done, especially considering that this was just initially a draft. Yeah. So that's, that's the second class I ever designed. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.